Hamby, good to have you here with us on TRT World. Now, these elections, are these elections likely to pave the way uh, for a permanent political settlement in Somalia? Well, that's a good question. I think this is uh, the, the latest talks and, and the you know uh, um, agreement between Somalia's different federal member states and the prime minister actually give hope that uh, what some sort of an election and election uh, process that lots of credibility uh, due to alleged uh, you know uh, corruptions it somehow is going to have a new phase and uh, a new uh, federal parliament will be elected in the next few months you know the current agreement says by february 25 the election process should be completed and somalia should have all it is for the uh, federal um, parliament elected but this is this somehow boils i mean boils down the, the tensions that has been going for the last uh, couple of, of weeks uh, since the somali government somali uh, prime minister and president got this new latest conflict but i don't think this will be achievable by the by by, the, by this deadline, due to many irregularities and many technical issues that are going forward. But to be honest, this is, I mean, a, a way forward. It gives us a positive indication that at least an agreement has been reached. And, and, and despite uh, uh, the deadlines and the difficulties that are on the way ahead, things could be, you know, I mean, uh, we could have a new parliament maybe next two, week, two months. Indeed. Uh, indeed, it's a good sign. But uh, again, uh, looking at uh, the recent history of uh, the country, nothing can be said at, uh, with certainty, right? Uh, but of course, uh, there's not uh, just the political crisis which need uh, to be addressed. The humanitarian crisis in Somalia is also exacerbating on a daily basis. The famine is getting worse and worse. What do authorities in Somalia plan to do to address the famine? Somalia is actually now facing one of its worst problems in many years, uh, since 2011. And the, the humanitarian organizations, whether the local or international, are actually reporting that almost 7 million uh, people, who are almost half of the country's populations, are now facing food shortage due to failures of rain in the last few years and last few weeks and, and, and months. So um, this kind of election, electoral crisis, actually, uh, you know, made the Somali leadership easy on, on this election, not focus on this crisis. But I think uh, the Somali government declared an emergence uh, last last month uh, over over this new uh, famine. But I think there will be a time and Somali government will actually uh, and, and focus on and, and, and contribute resource to this uh, and, and, and affecting famine in Somalia. And also Somalia has been dependent on foreign aid for many years. And international community and, and UN internal organizations are reportedly preparing for a famine and have been uh, preparing actions to, to alleviate suffering of, of many populations in Somalia. And this is part of the wider uh, political issues and also uh, humanitarian problems, not only in Somalia, but in the Horn of Africa. Somalia is part of, is facing uh, uh, what they call uh, climate change food insecurity and uh, flats in the in the last few years. So this is part of regional problem. And I hope, uh, and the Somali people also hope, that the international community and Somali government will join forces to, I mean, affect a new, a new kind of famine in the country. All right, Abdinur Daher, thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World.